Hi guys, Brooke Rogers here with Kiwi's Party. Um, I decided to do a little demo and I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do, but I got these little stencils with these little weird eyes and I was thinking I'll try something up. So, well, let's see what I come up with. Um, I was thinking like a monster or some little beast or something right over the eye. So, let's give it a go. I'm gonna load up on this split cake called Fire Tiger by Tag. And I'm going to use my sponge to apply the color in a circular motion. I'm going to drag that sponge around and make the shape with the end of the sponge. And the color was really pretty so I decided, hey, I'm going to use this to make a tiger. Perfect color combo. It's called tiger. So I put on the stencil using my Mayron powders and a lollipop. Um, it was pretty easy. Now we're going to do the muzzle, some ears, and outline that in orange. And I used the same orange from the split cake, um, which is nice because I picked up a little of the yellow too. And I'm going to make the paws right next to the face, one on each side. And I'm going to spin the brush around and it's just going to have even more shape to it because uh, you made that color blend. I think he looks kind of cute, but he needs a lot more work still. But the good thing is that I used the eyes on that stencil, and I don't have to figure out what I'm going to do with the eyes. That's usually the trickiest part, is putting the pupils on top of the white. Um, here I'm just drawing the teeth, of course, and just doing that very lightly with my brush, just the tip, and making all the little tiger marks is going to be um, hard not to mark up this design with too much black so you have to be a little bit light with your paintbrush. Finish up your outline of your tiger. I wanted to make the claws coming in towards my eye. It's like I'm imagining the tiger is playing peekaboo over my eyebrow and then you're going to do a little outline over the muzzle, under the muzzle. I think he looks cute. I like it. It came out good. I'm going to add the white now because, um, like I said, the hardest part of usually doing um, a little character on the cheek or the eye is getting the eyes right. And this one's kind of cool. I don't have a really hard time doing eyes, but even knowing that, the way that these eyes came out look better than my eyes whenever I paint them on a little small character. And filling in the blank uh, part where the, the white was is easier than me putting the outline with the black after I've done the white. So... Uh, it was a little backwards, but after I tried it out, I liked it a lot. I felt like the character had um, more character. <laughs> I felt like he had a cuter look. It, it came out really good using the little eye stencils, and I probably wouldn't have uh, even thought to try that before. So like I said, I imagined uh, he was playing peekaboo, so now he's in the jungle. I'm throwing in extra stuff now. I'm using this beautiful one stroke called NV by Party Explosion. Uh, you can tell it's one of my favorites. It goes from a black to a really pretty true green to a light green and it makes it so you don't have to outline any of your leaves which is awesome. And I could have stopped but I thought it needed some more color. If it was a boy I'm totally stopping right now because I don't need to do any more. I'm going to add in some flowers because I am a girly girl and I thought that's what it needed. Um, it didn't really have to have it, but that's fine. And really just adding in some little white dots just to break up um, the design a little bit. I probably could have added in a cute stencil too and made it even faster. Maybe a floral stencil. So here I'm just adding in some little dots. I'm going to go in with the white, but after that I'm going to add in some color in the center. And I went with my Mica Pink just to add the girly touch. There we go. Just adding in the centers. 
Um, even though this was kind of winging it design, I think it turned out good. I think the eye stencils are a hit. I enjoyed working with them. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and get your supplies at thefacepaintformshop.com. Bye!